Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the impeller on this Yamaha 4 stroke 4 horsepower outboard. I'm going to be replacing the impeller with the genuine Yamaha part. There's the part number for the 4 horsepower model. Generally better to use either genuine or good quality spurious parts. The first thing we're going to do is remove this rubber grommet. It lives about halfway up the leg. We need to pop the engine into reverse and that reveals the bolt that connects onto the shift linkage. We're going to loosen this just a little bit and that frees up the shift arm from the arm that goes down to the lower unit. Now with the engine tilted back up we can remove the two 10mm bolts. We don't need to take these fully out, just down a little bit. We should be able to now separate the lower unit. You can see the three connections. This here is our shift lever, middle one is the drive shaft, and the end one is our exhaust. So we can now split our lower unit. And here we have our impeller housing. The drive shaft goes down through the impeller, turns it, and then down to the gearbox to turn the propeller. So now we need to remove the four 10 mm bolts on the top of the impeller housing. So with our four bolts off now, we can remove the impeller housing and the impeller is sitting in the housing here. So this is our impeller and this is our new one. So that they look to be a match, which is good. Take note of the direction that the impeller is placed in and make sure that you remember to put your new one in the same orientation. Maybe take a photo of that on your phone or something. This is the base plate that the impeller spins on. These can wear out, so make sure they're not too deeply grooved or scored. That one seems fine. We're going to take it off and clean it up. So I've cleaned up our base plate. And also cleaned out the galleys beneath it. And blown it out of the air compressor to make sure they're fully clear. I've used a little bit of emery paper on the base plate and also on the inside of the housing. I have the impeller in and in the same direction as the old one. And I have the points, contact points between the drive shaft and any seal or anywhere it could rub. A little bit of grease put on those. So I'm now sliding. the impeller and housing down to the lower unit. We're going to turn the drive shaft until it seats inside the impeller. That's it done. And we are good to go now with our four bolts. those tightened down now. So we now have our lower unit back together and everything tightened up inside. We have a bit of grease on the top of our drive shaft. 
I'm going to slide everything back into place. We need to make sure that the shift lever goes correctly into the little clamp. This can be a bit fiddly trying to get everything lined up and get the drive shaft in place sometimes. So just have patience and play around with it until it works. Now tighten up the two 10 mil bolts on the lower unit. So next we're going to tighten up the shift rod bolt. First of all we need to make sure that our lever is pressed fully down. So reverse is engaged and reverse is selected up on the engine itself. Now we can snug up this bolt. We need to check that when it's in neutral we can rotate the prop freely, which we can. And it engages in forward and reverse. Good and tight. We can pop the grommet back on. These grommets can get very stiff over time. That's it on. So that's the impeller replaced now on this Yamaha 4 horsepower 4 stroke outboard. Make sure and test your impeller well, put it in a bucket of water and let it pump for a while and make sure there's a good steady flow coming out of it before going to the water. Okay, hopefully that was useful to you. Thanks, bye bye.